I am Serene Wong. I'm attending Sengkang Methodist Church and currently serving in the worship ministry as a vocalist. I got to know God when I was 12 years old. I remember I was staying opposite the church and I'm always very attracted by the joy there. But I didn't follow God until very, very much later in life because many things happened and I was distracted and that drew me away from God. But despite all that, I know that God has never left me. When I graduated from Polytechnic, I was at loss at what to do in life. I remember this friend gave me a verse to encourage me, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. This verse really comforted me a lot. It encourages me to put my trust in God, even though I don't know what is ahead, God knows. And so the story goes, I went for my first interview as a special education teacher. Because that time, special education was unheard of and I was curious. And that curiosity actually kept me going for nine years. Even though I really enjoyed teaching special needs children, I know that God has other plans for me. So I prayed for open door and the door of nursing opened. I was like, God, are you sure? I'm scared of blood, I'm scared of needles, and I'm scared of shit. But then I remember that verse, with Christ, all things are possible. So I took the plunge and never looked back. And that was 11 years ago. I'm really very thankful for this life-changing journey. I used to be pessimistic, grouchy, and short-tempered. Being a teacher trains me to be more patient and being a nurse teach me to be more loving. I believe that God has placed me in different places to mold me to a better person. As a nurse, I have the privilege to hold the hands of my patients who are suffering physically, mentally and spiritually. I hope that I can share the peace and joy that I receive from my Heavenly Father to the people that I meet every day in my life. Now I am working in HC Hospice Care as a pediatric palliative nurse. I serve children with life-limiting and life-threatening illnesses. How God is so good to bring me back to special needs again, like everything before was just a preparation. I had a 10-year-old patient. During one of my home visits, his father actually told me he wanted his boy to be baptised. So I connected the church to this family. Ref Lake and Pastor Sally baptised this boy at home. He recently just passed away. But his parents are very thankful that this boy is baptised and now in the Kingdom of God. His younger brother is now studying in our church preschool. I'm just so thankful that our church can minister to this family. Recently, I was training for a 101 km run to raise funds for HCA Hospice Care. I ran almost every day just to condition my body. Every day after work, I would have a quick dinner, put on my shoes and just run. It was really a test to my own discipline and perseverance. I'm very blessed to have my church to support me in this cause to raise funds for HCA Hospice Care. My cell pray for me and some even lose sleep just to cheer me up at the starting line. I really thank God. As I was running, I was filled with so much joy. When I have some pain due to the blisters and muscle cramps, I told myself, what is this pain compared to those endured by my patients and their families? And I actually completed the run in a good timing and without any injuries. Thank God for that. I hope that my walk with God will be like this, to say that I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith.